Today I'll be showing you how to remove and install the PC parts. So first you'll have to remove the top and side panels. I have to remove a screw from here, here, up there, and there. Then they should just slide off. Like that. Now I'll be showing you how to install some RAM. First, you'll have to put the RAM into there. Then, I can't do this with one hand, but you'll have to go up on them and then push it in. Then it should look something like this. Next, I'll be showing you how to um, remove the graphics card. First, you'll have to remove four screws from one there, another one there, One there, and one there. Next, this should just come off. Next, you need to remove this, the power. Now, once you've done that, flip it around and then just pull this down, like that. And now, your graphics card should slide out like that. Next, I'll be showing you how to get to your CPU. So first, you need to remove these screws. That one there, that one there, that one up there, and this one here. Once you've removed the screws, you can just lift it up, but sometimes it's a bit of a pain. Now once you've lifted it up, you'll have to unplug it down here. There we go. Next, to remove the CPU cooler. You'll have to remove that screw, this screw, and these four screws. Now to get your CPU out, you'll have to slide this down here and put that. Then you can just lift it up. Also, this golden triangle here goes to this thing here. I put it all back, you just do it in reverse. So, you just put that there, put that down there. Now put the cooler back in and tighten the screws. Now to get this in, you need to push it down until you hear it click into there. Now that it's clicked in, just put all the screws back in and plug it back in. Now on to... Now once it's in. Then once you've done that, you just get this little bracket thing again, put it there. And then tighten it. Give him lines up there. Now we'll be getting onto a hard drive. So first, you'll have to remove these two screws here. Not oh, also on that one. So now you've done that, um, this plate should just come off. Then you can unscrew these four screws. So then once you've done that, one will just be a place to put another hard drive in. Then the other one will be your actual hard drive. Now, one will be a case to add another hard drive. Then the other one will be your actual hard drive. Oh, I just do everything reverse to get it back on. And just put the panels back on and screw it back in. Then you're done.